All right, so ladies and gentlemen, um, what we're going to now work on is our last ratio that you'll need to know. If we are talking about a price increase or a price decrease, you're going to want to make sure you know this ratio to be able to determine. You'll want to make sure you know this to be able to determine what exactly is the price ratio um, increase or decrease. So for instance, let's say we have, um, and this works for price, I just did price increase. It doesn't matter if you're doing price increase or price decrease. The formula is exactly the same, except you just write price decrease on top. All right. So let's say, ladies and gentlemen, that you have, um, let's say you're going to go ahead and buy some shoes. Some shoes. <laughs> now, when you go ahead and buy the shoes, though, they're doing a limited, brand new opening at the store. Okay, so brand new opening up the store, and let's say they're going to sell these shoes for $100. All right. So they're going to sell these shoes at $100, but they only are going to do this for like the first 50 customers that come in through the doors. Right? Big increase. These are really nice shoes, but they will give them to you $150. So that is your original price. Now, if you do not make it or you show up late and then you try to buy these shoes at um, when they are just walking into the store, and now that price jumps up to $180. All right, so obviously, Andre, do you need to change? Because I thought you had a personal conversation with me asking me for some things, and I know exactly what my response would be now. Let's just pay attention to what I'm going over here. So if you guys have your original price, and now we have a new price, we can obviously see that this is a price increase. I can talk to you personally after class if you'd like to. I have no idea what the hell you're doing. I understand that. Let's pay attention and I'll go over it with you. So we have a price increase. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. yes? So all we want to do is determine what is the change in that price increase. It doesn't matter if it's price increase or decrease. We're always going to be able to determine the change. So therefore, I have 180 minus 100 over the original price, which is 100. So 180 minus 100 is going to be 80 over 100. Now, what we simply want to do to determine what exactly was the price increase is just rewrite this as a percentage. All right. So their, their reasoning then is from that initial point, they had an increase of 80%. That means if you would have showed up on that opening sale, you would have got 80% off the shoes, which is a pretty good deal, right? Yeah.